Hello, good evening. Well, we weren't expecting this. Um, breaking news from the club in the last five minutes. Uh, Tony Mowbray has been sacked with immediate effect by Sunderland Football Club. Massive news. Uh, we knew he was under pressure in the last few weeks, but did we really think they were going to sack him? Um, massive news, boys. What's your thoughts, Conrad? Uh, I, I was shocked. I was, I was just saying, I mean, just a little insight through when we were recording some other videos just now, we were all just like, right, see you in a bit, lads, we're off to bed. And and then phone went mad again, just a bit like, I thought, oh, it's just people talking this game, that game. But, jeez, like, uh, uh, was he doing that bad? Like, what? I just don't get it at the moment. I don't think it's not like we've lost loads in a row. But I might be wrong, but I don't think so. I don't know. It's a, it's a queer one, maybe. Like you see, and he's been under pressure and being criticised for his team tactics and his, his substitutions lately. But um, yeah, we've we've been a bit, one of his critics in a way, saying he needs to change tactics up a bit. But definitely didn't think it was justified for the sack. You know, I'm a Sunderland manager. Get me out of here. <laughs> Just being told by Jacob. Jacob, what's your thoughts on this breaking news? Massive shock. It is, mate. Yeah. Um, none of the. Uh, by the way, I've just played footy for the London branch team. Good four-one win for the boys tonight. Um, no one asked. Mowbray. See, we're um, all in a state of shock, is what you lads are in the studio. We just um, didn't see it coming, but. The main discussion, what we've just been saying there, a replacement is lined up, surely, like for them to make a decision like that at this moment in time. I'm Judging by, I think, the, the direction this board wants to go, it would not surprise me if it's a young young foreign coach coming in, to be honest, that a bit like um, that Italian journalist linking us with that manager who's now at Nice towards the back end of last season. Yeah, yeah, I might not be a good shout about having somebody lined up. Um, like you see, it's it's uh, it seems to have happened all so quick. Yes, Mike. As part of the club statement, he said that we are now focused on identifying the right candidate. I mean, that doesn't sound like they've found somebody already to use them wor that wording. Is that not just my just mm. standard statement? But we've got we've got some people in the in the comments. Um, Buck Finley says, um, let's just hope we can get some in by Saturday. David says, wrong decision for me. JM, that's Ahmad out of the window. Sirius says, there's got to be inside problems. Andrew Simkus says, absolutely crazy. Are we real? David says, we'll clock be aware now. Um, I big madness. Ahmad will not come back in January. Ben Allison says, high lads. Glenn Jones, ridiculous. Olympic Rudy, don't think they will. They really wanted him for this season and we're just waiting for an excuse. Loads of comments in the same thing. Um, well, that's that's the main one, isn't it? Like, I mean, not to sort of jump on it, but they never wanted him at the end of last season going into this one, really. We all sort of knew that. But I think they sort of, they sort of, not what was the best way, put up with it. I think they saw the backlash from the fans of like, well, he's done really well. Like, you've got to mm. give him another go. And I don't think there was, I don't think it was like a 50-50 split either on the Mowbray out, Mowbray in thing at the moment. And there was murmurs of it a bit more but not because he was awful, just because results hadn't quite been going our way in the last few games and, and stuff. So, go on, Jacob. One thing I will say, Wayne, like, as weird as it sounds, there's no hiding place for the board anymore. I reckon for them, mm. like I said, for them to make this decision, they would have had someone lined up, but also they are promised, like, a decent amount of, in terms of funds in January to really kick this team in the next to that next level that that's surely that's got to be the case i think so but i mean it's hope so we've only got three weeks to the transfer window will the new manager have time to identify what the team needs and what well, are well i reckon they've thought about this decision for weeks surely they can't um, just do it just like that unexpected I mean, because it would have been it would have been like unexpected in terms of what direction they were going to go and who they were going to get if it was a bad run of form. I mean, it's not been like a terrible run of form, but I think they've thought about replacing Mowbray for a while. But listen, all I'll say before I just head off, listen, we've we've had good times with him. I didn't see him 
going to that next level in terms of with the squad we currently have. But he's done, to be honest, he's beaten all expectations. He's done a fantastic job. Technically, we overachieved last season compared to where we were expected to finish at the start of the season, considering he took over near the start after Alex Neal left to take the job at Stoke. But I wish Tony all the best, mate. I hope the club left the packet of rebels on his desk on the way out <laughs> today as, as, as a Christmas. Ah, let him get all his sweets, yeah. yeah. Jaffa yeah, I mean, cakes and rebels. Yeah. Do you think yeah, that's, that's, that's all I'll sign off? Tony, you've been a, a gem, mate. Fantastic coach. I mean, also, Wayne, I don't know why you've got an Arsenal fan in the back, sorry, an Arsenal shirt <laughs> on the back of him. Was that just for me coming on? It's just yeah, me. Was it that you a a <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, honestly, Wayne, I'm going to kill you, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just to add insult no, to injury, no, I feel that was. <laughs> <laughs> he's done it just for me coming on he put that on his wall just before we went live no Tony fantastic guy um, you'll definitely be back in management at some point um, for in, in the near future probably beat us what he's done for us yeah yeah top top yeah. man but um, whoever we get in next um, wish you all the best of luck um, we've got a huge game in just over a month's time um, to look forward to I hope he knows about the passion in that but we've got big league games coming up before then so yeah wish That's him all the man. best and I hope the board have promised you um, decent things going forward particularly for what we need to do to improve the team in January anyway guys have a good one cheers Jay. Yeah, thank you so much mate. appreciate it um, but in the chat um Bit of a mixed reception, really. Um, there's loads of comments saying that's Ahmad out the window now for January. Um, Olympic Ruby says, Don't think they really wanted him for this season. DJ Dave, I think Tony may have been sacked for his latest comments on the young strikers not being ready for the job. Who would be in charge of for Saturday's game? Serious as I saw some links to Oli Gunnar Solskar a few days ago, but that might have been fake news. Well, would you tag Solskar? I don't know. I've got this worry at the minute that we're doing a Birmingham that we're like Birmingham were doing really well for. Oh, hang on, we'll we'll test our arm. We're getting Wayne Rooney in and just for the name, and then I've absolutely gone off the gone off the rails. I don't think our lot would do that. I think they're a bit. I like to think they're a bit smarter than that for the last few years that we've seen. I don't think they've rarely put a foot wrong on on big decisions it just feels like this has just come out of nowhere mm. so like you say unless it's a case of they've sort of said what were you talking about with the strikers you've got them to work with you know you made all this and he's sort of you know it's just sort of broken down they've gone well do you know what and he's still you've got to be bitter if you're Mowbray from the summer where they were pr practically yeah. announcing we don't want you we're getting somebody else in and then it's never probably sat right within that sort of um, that time for them. Go on, Mike. He's he's not like it's not like a, a coach who's become a manager. This is a big. He's a big name in in football management, as far as I'm concerned. He's very well established. You can't just replace him with some up and coming coach. They must. Well, they must. You'd hope they've got somebody in line who's a proven, you know, well, not an ex player, look. nothing like that, a proven good manager. I had a look just before we started, and his win percentage at Sunderland was 40%. Yeah. So it's not like it was horrific or anything yeah. like that. Um, 65 games, 26 wins, 18 uh, draws, and 21 losses. Um, as expected, I, I'm sh people sure probably already know, but Mark Venus has also departed, who was Mowbray's assistant. So you, you, ex you expect that, but just so everyone's clear. Does that mean we'll have uh, we'll have Mike Dodge back in charge again for the weekend and movie? Is that your standard in it? Um, but back in the chat, um, GM says DJ Dave, you can't get sacked just because he's criticised you know, or said the strikers weren't ready. Casual observer says something had to give. We've been stale for weeks. The team selectors and subs have been absolutely baffling. And with Smogger speaking up against the club, it was always going to happen. Pep incoming. <laughs> Craig, Craig yeah. Hawkins is absolutely shite decision. Matty Oliver, it's the best thing for the club. Everyone is now panicking because we've actually done it. Jeff Olegs is an absolute disgrace. Glenn Jones timing is three weeks before the January window. Cameron Bourne says so they sat Mowbray and my feeling is Diallo Ian coming back and I can see us having the rest of the season up and down. Newcastle in a month, a month before the window. 
he has he was ready to sign Diallo what the fuck uh, Cameron Bourne I would have have him in the window and say what's what Bristol you I'm furious he's been great for us just been a dip in form same type of things um Italian bloke being linked from the Turkish league comes in now armchair coaches win again be careful what you wish for it started from some fans at the Huddersfield game played into Speakman's hands um, Michelle they're Bo- gonna go for that lad in France aren't they that's Just the one. That yeah. No, I mean, no, not the Italian one. You know that one? Is it? He's English, but he manages in France now, or something. Will something? They're going to go for him, aren't they? The one who play, basically played football manager and got his job in it as a oh, actual yeah. football manager. They're clearly going to go for him, aren't they? I've done all right in football manager. Give us a call. I'm pretty yeah. cool. Your name on the hat. All right, well, I'll give it a go. <laughs> you just drop, you're like drop Bradley Dak. It's fine. <laughs> everything solved um just yeah. on the on the club statement just for what you said earlier on mike dodds will lead the first team's training and pre- match preparations until the process of new head that's, coach that's, is just, get, that's just getting beat the weekend then hmm. um loads of comments in shopping um can't will see- still someone just put it in there will still <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's uh, you're gonna hope it's not Heckingbottom from Sheffield oh, United. Right, you've got to man. hope it's not him. You've got to hope it's not. I mean, maybe they'll go for the Birmingham manager who's who's just gone. He, he was doing all right, but um, you're gonna get the CMO names. It's uh, somewhere in the comments there. Yeah. Somebody to go out for Roy Keane. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Phillips has been mentioned. All that, you know that sort of stuff. Now um, Quinn, get him back. No. No, no, I, I don't know. It's uh, a little bit in suit with Kev. David Miller, I think Tony Morbid deserves our thanks and appreciation. I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. He's done an absolutely amazing job. And probably the reason why he's been here so long is because he overachieved last season. He, like they said, he was the, the God, playing great team. football. Great football. And then when we were getting more and more injuries towards the end of the season, we were still turning out amazing performances with the team and, and picking up results probably where we shouldn't have been. And then now that we're probably playing that way, but sort of not getting found out as it were, but we're not pulling in the results that we were, have they jumped the gun? Or is it like we said before, something that's been rumbling from the start of the seat, from the, the closed um, season that they've just gone, we'll wait for an opportunity. When he messes up, we'll just take it. Could it could it be Tony Mowbray's decision? You know, could have come ahead where he's just felt not supported, the same as Alex Neil did. You know, he hasn't been back in the transfer market. He's been made a scapegoat with these centre forwards not working. But I don't know. Maybe. I don't. I, I don't disagree. It's. It's. I don't think it's that the board don't know what they're doing. Because, like I said before, I think they've done all right. Do you know what I mean? They've got enough um, money in the bank, as it were, from the last few years when they've took over to sort of go. Okay, let me see what you do. Do you know what I mean? To, before I sort of start panicking, but it just feels a very weird one. It seems bizarre. Very shocking. Um, Brian, SCFC to the dice is we just need to keep our faith in the board and see where it takes us. It's, it's out of our control. Lindsay softly says all these comments about Ahmad, he will be away in the African Cup of Nations until Feb anyway. Mm. Looking at some of the decisions Mowbray has made the last few weeks have been ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, we've all criticised these substitutions and his team selection in the, in the past few weeks, but I've said, I've said on, on, on the videos before, I wouldn't be surprised if they sacked him. You know, I'm, but it, it's a strange one. It just happened this time of night, all of a sudden. So, mm. uh, I'm just seeing some of the names like Graham Potter Graham and Lopetegui. Potter. I mean, I, I wish Lopetegui and, and Graham Potter, maybe not so much, but it, I, I think they're a bit above. We've got more chance of getting Brian Potter from uh, Phoenix Knights, I think. So. Well, that's, that's what we've got more chance of. R- Rude Van Nistelrooy is after a job, isn't he? Mm. Um, Xavi Alonso just so leading I've, the Bundesliga why not Mourinho no, so he's the one Chris Johnson says Francesco Fer- Farioli incoming a lad off ready to go and who's great info said Harvey and Speakman flew out of London on Saturday to interview a foreign coach well, you're going you're gonna to get all these sorts of people who's in the know um, wouldn't wouldn't bet against Phillips, somebody just said. Um, I've said that every time, to be fair, that Phillips was an option. It might not be a bad shout. You know, is, is, is he really what we need at the minute? Hi, Em. Is he... Hello, hello. You all right? Well, all right, about you. What's your thoughts on um, on Mr Mowbray? <laughs> Do you really want to go as good? It's a goddamn <laughs> a joke. Where is the stability within this club? We need the stability. He's been in charge for two seasons. 
we have got a revolving door on that ground and we need to get rid of it. We need a manager to stay for a good five or six years and then the, to bring the players in so then they know what type of manager they're getting and then they know the style of football they're going to play. But to me, it's like the, cl- the club hasn't got a bloody clue what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's, uh, that's, oh. it's, is, is that 19 or 20 managers now in something like 19 oh. seasons or something? We've got to... That's- that's football now. It's becoming that way for most clubs, isn't it? Unfortunately, you don't get results in the first six to twelve months, and you're on the well, chopping block. If you look at look at the, if you look at Brentford, how long's he been in charge, and look at where they are now. You know, he's took them from the bottom of the championship, then this established Premier League team now. So, mm. see Emma's point. See Emma's point by you know you've got to give people time, but like you see, especially Southern fans, you know the way we are. We. we you're highly critical at times when things are not going our way. It, to be honest, it makes me wonder, okay, if what actually goes on behind closed doors, is it the fact that, okay, so say Tony wanted XYZ player, but then they're saying, no, we haven't got the cash. And so he's like, right, well, that's it, I'm off. Is I've said this for a couple of seasons. Is this the case? Are we not providing the managers with what they want? Do they not have the final say? Right, it's looking that way. It's looking that way. I mean, I always think Mowbray was that kind of manager, though, that he, he didn't need the budget. He was always for that. But that doesn't excuse the fact that, yes, he might have gone, do you know what? I'm nearly there. I just need this. And they've gone, no, like, that's not what we do. You, I, I don't know. You just don't know, do you? No, it's, I mean, it's just. It's a mixed yeah. People saying it's a stupid decision. Um, uh, Get these people upstairs out. I've had enough. I knew they were dodgy at the start of the season. Since we were signing teenagers, that's Harry Jackman. Um, Chris Johnson says 100% will go foreign. Tam says we don't employ managers. Can people get this right? It is a head coach role. Mm. Um, Brian Kennedy, would you be open to Dean Smith? Not really. I wouldn't. No. Um, no. Marcelo Bielsa. Well, you know, I've got these managers. Ah, uh, good luck. <laughs> nature. Um, Nathan Jones, another one mentioned in the chat. Um, John Eustace is another one who's did a good job at Birmingham. He's he's looking for a job. Swansea have just sat their manager in all apparently, so it might be the second season. So what um, Hounslow's just said there about the Mowbray's head coach, he's given players to work with and has no say in transfers, purely there to manage personnel. The question is now, are we going to be looking for another head coach? Are we? Are the Sunderland board happy to... Is that the way they want it? Or are they going to let a manager come in and actually build a team he wants? I think it's always build a team he's given. Yeah. It's it's never. A, I don't think it's a case of build the team you want anymore. Granted, Mowbray must have got his man with Dak because because of the link beforehand. But Bellingham was being linked way before we even knew Mowbray was staying. Um, yeah. yeah, you can't say that these three, four strikers that we had were all on Mowbray's radar as like plays that he identified yeah. that that would yeah. would fit in. It just doesn't doesn't ring like that. No one knew of Equa and Elise before we signed them. I don't think Mowbray's going and watching West Ham under 21s and thinking, no. oh, yeah, he'll do a job. It, we might be. We might be doing an absolute madness on scouting and, and sort of looking out. I mean, look at Brighton. They pull out a new youngster every five minutes from South America. It turns out to be an absolute worldie. So maybe we are, but it just doesn't feel like it is, you know. I mean, it's, I mean, what about Roy Keane? Wasn't Roy Keane set to take charge before Tony Mowbray and he then walked away? When, before when Neil. Spoke, before Neil, when he spoke to Speakman and, and what have you. So he's not he's, he's like that gun. Cool. Roy Keane was never going to be the one to work on a no money and just sort of go, I'll make these players better. Uh, right, right, he was right, always, right. I need a bit of investment and I don't think that's what they wanted to do. Even said himself, it came down to money, Roy Keane. So it might not have been his money. Well, I just uh, to me, it's got Speakman written all over it again. To be fair, <laughs> they just haven't got a clue. I, I'm lost for words. To be fair, it's it's like one thing after another with them. Do you know what I mean? But my concern is whoever they bring in, manager, head coach, whoever, what players. 
are they going to put out? Are they going to give all these younger guys the full ninety minutes? And then are they going to be in a worse position? So, I have got, so these guys that haven't got the game type, are they going to give them the full ninety minutes? Am I going to be in a worse position? What we are, and maybe it's going into a relegation battle. So because know, them players it, haven't got the experience. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it on, based on that, is it Speakman that's actually running the show from top to bottom? Because I mean, Tam's put a comment there saying. They said yeah. last year it's a head coach role. They can swap out the coach and not affect the side as the new head coach will be in yeah. the club's philosophy. So, mm. but then that doesn't that doesn't account for players not liking you, <laughs> as daft as that sounds. Ahmed always said for us that he would co- he would play for Mowbray anytime, and that was probably the reason that Clark's still around and Roberts is still around because of. Mowbray, who's to say that yes, you get another guy in who can do tactics and play football the way we do, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to have the same link and sort of personality traits with the players and still get on with them. You know, I mean, there's been look at Parkinson to McGeady, like managers either side of him thought McGeady was the best thing we ever had and first name on the team sheet. Parkinson mm-hmm. came in, just went, don't like it. Right, how you go? Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Chris Johnson just put a, a comment on there, which is probably quite right. Jack Clark loved him. Not only have we lost our manager, we've just massively pissed off our best players and all. So mm. there is that side of the things and all. Roberts has just signed a new deal. He's not going to be happy. No. And he was meant to be, could have been off in um, in August when um, Ross Stewart went. Mm. That's a, he, that's I mean, a big he was, thing. He was, he was brought in as a safe pair of hands when Neil left as he did. But that doesn't excuse the fact that I don't think he's done badly. And I don't think he deserved to just be like, right, off you go. Like, cheers for everything, bye. I mean, world of Lexi Vlogs says Sam Allardyce will be next manager or Oli Gullo Sunspot. I mean, do we really need to come back to them, dears? I don't know. It, it won't be Sam because that's completely contradictive. Well, he won't because he won't. But that completely opposite way we play, they wouldn't do that. The fact is, it's going to end up as a young foreign manager. That's 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 the way I see it. That, that's what they want in, and that's, that's the way I can see them going. I mean, no problem. Who would you have in with? Just feels the gods are me. If I, mm-hmm. if I if I was given the choice, I would probably like to see somebody like Solskjaer. But it, mm. or Potter, Potter done a cracking job, but I didn't know it. Don't forget Solskjaer at Cardiff, though. He was horrendous, wasn't he? Aye. Aye. He got promoted, I believe. But then just it was that thing of like the Vinny company in uh, Premier League. Now he's just refusing to play any other way and get battered. And the only two teams he's beaten are the two teams that he got promoted with. Yeah, good shout. Um, get Cameron, Jack Ross back. We love a 1 1. <laughs> Cameron Bourne is so manager, so well managed being sacked, the team will be livid. 40% isn't shite, to be fair. Clark Roberts, Pritchard, and the other players who stayed often would be fuming. I speak for all Sunderland fans when I say we want Steve Bruce back at the club. Yeah, yeah, we are. Um, Although it would be funny if he was our manager and we beat the Mags. <laughs> there would be something about that that would just be even better and he just brings out like Mike Ashley to celebrate in front of the away end at the end for just for the sheer hell of it it would be funny uh, Bristol your Matt says fuck it get Peter Reid back in oh do you mean uh, you never know I'd give him a job I'd give him a job who would you in Emma had put the question back at you who would you want as a manager in <sighs> Um, to be honest, I would, and, and you got to call us delusional for this, but I'd like to see Phillips take over. Well, he would, he would get fans back outside. He would, he would, he would, I mean, I, I thought he was, would have gotten it, or if he was going to get it, would have gotten it like, before in between Alex Neil type of thing. It didn't happen. No, he won't, and I wants the job, no doubt about it. He's applying for it. You see, for me, if we want to bring Keane back, it just wouldn't work because since Keane's days, a lot of things have changed in the game of football. It, it, it just wouldn't work to me. We need somebody that's, no offence to Keane, that's up to date with the management side of things. I've gone, gone to the days when you can pin players up against the wall. That doesn't kind of doesn't kind of work now. So. 
I, I was trying not to say that, you know, but <laughs> you knew exactly what I meant and tell him to go do one. Uh, exactly. I get it. Does Scott Parker have a club at the moment? Somebody just put in the chat there about Scott Parker. The only thing that's the downside of that is he got him promoted with no money, but then openly criticised the board yeah. for not having money when he got to the Premier League and got sacked for it. So, right. hmm. Ben, Ben Hunter just put in there, Phillips isn't ready. Might not be a ah, I didn't know. Um, Big D, John Herman, the Canada coach, will be a good shout. He's from up here as well. Glenn Jones has never put a club legend in charge of the team. I'm just, oh, just looking at <laughs> You can look on the transfer market um, site and you can see which coaches are available. And there's some massive names, and like with especially with the point ratios, like Laurent Blanc, um, Villas Boas, stuff like that, that are, you know, averaging two points a game. There's loads of options out there, but it's what can you attract to the championship club more than anything else. So we might end with no up money. with someone. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem. So it, it's it's you'd want a big name to replace someone like Tony Mowbray, but can we attract that? I think so. That that might not be a bad option of looking at that market because will we really going to get somebody that's already in a club to pay their contract up? Can we afford to no, do that? We're 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 going to go for somebody who's available. We're not going to take somebody from another club, are we? I wouldn't have thought. No. They don't pay transfer fees. Why would they pay a manager's exit fee? Exactly. Frank Lampard, Frank Lampard, you mentioned? No, 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 no. Yeah, Scott Parker no doesn't have available. <laughs> yeah. But definitely not Lampard. I, mean, I just want to really make that clear. Just definitely not Frank I'm Lampard. I've spent too long <laughs> taking the piss out of people who've had Frank Lampard as the manager yeah. for him to join Sunderland, and then I have to live with it. I've put too much effort into that. Alex McLeish is available. <laughs> Yeah. Jesse Marsh. <laughs> Jesse Marsh, another one being mentioned, eh? I yeah. mean, it, in hindsight, I'm kind of pleased it's happened now rather than like sort of a like in a month or two's time. Because maybe it's now we might still be in a chance with the playoff places. Do you know what I mean? It could be a case of this new manager come new manager head coach, whatever people want to call it. We'll come in and work with the club and we've got that time to build and then potentially come January transfer, might get rid of some dead weight if we've got any, as far as that head coach is concerned, and bring in bring in a striker that can actually score a goal, maybe. Help his his <laughs> one that that might fit the, the characteristics. Who was that one? He was QPR manager last year, absolutely flying. Rangers took him. He might was absolutely sure that's him. He's still kicking about. Actually, and he had he, no money at QPR and I, got them going. I, I Rangers was, was a bit too much of a step up and he went too soon. I, but, I was reading something last night about him and apparently the, the, the football he played at Rangers was really, really good. Um, and our time he just didn't win power. anything. Just didn't win that with him, I. Um, mm. Cameron Bond. I'm not saying that I'd like prefer him, but that reeks of the type of person that we would go for. I think that. I think, I think you're right. I mean, Jack O'Connor says, Bale, Lindsay Softly, the bet the ball will go with the manager. Mad Macken says, Are we missing the point? He's got now to work with. And I'm I missing the obvious one. It's Neil Warnock, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> Neil Warnock, he's managed everyone else in the championship. It, it's it's going to be Neil Warnock, isn't it? Well, Brian Kennedy says, Michael Bale, we love pumping him at Rangers. His football is shit, not even being a buyer Celtic fan. Hmm. Well, they're on about Beale there. <laughs> well, maybe not then. Um, yeah. Uh, in all seriousness, though, right? oh, well. because of the game we've got coming up, I take the Canio back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've just been sitting on some of the records as the sack the manager and get Paul Yeah, and the or the Canio back. Put a manager in the game before the Newcastle game. It's written in the stars even more, isn't it? <laughs> Have we not have we not learnt about bringing people back we have fond memories of? It never works. Someone said Nigel Pearson, but isn't he at was he at Bristol or is he gone from Bristol now? Just been sacked from there, right? Eh? Just been who, sacked. Now, who right? would you who would your choice be, Conrad? Who would you Oh, if you put me on the spot now, uh, 
what if if what no object at all or just complete sort like, of if, realism if, if you're thinking like you know the way the, the ball's well, gone logically i think I they could look at someone like beal idea. immediately do you know what i mean just because it, of how he was doing at qpr and um the way he had no money and the way he plays i think that's who they look for the other rangers manager that had before that the one that was after Gerard, or was it Bronco? This is my sort of like not ridiculous, but still ridiculous sort of like pipe dream of like of someone, but that'll never happen. Um, oh, now that I've thought of Beale, that's that's I can literally imagine them in the meetings going, look at how look at how he did in twelve games at QPR and uh, like the way he plays football, and uh, but then you've got the guy from Birmingham, but. It just screams of we're not the type to just go. Oh, he did all right for a bit at oh, Birmingham. We'll yeah, we'll have, yeah we'll have him. It seems like they would actually think about this. Mowbray was the one that they sort of went. Oh, just get him. Safe pair of hands. Let's go. But the yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to say Beal if you put me on the spot. But I, I haven't done my research. Mm-hmm. Mike, who, do you, who would your choice be? Who, who would I want or who's realistic is the question. Yes, yes. uh, via via Boas, uh, Andre Villa Boas. Oh, I can never say his name's mouthful. But he's, you know, obviously everyone knows him from Tottenham, but he's been abroad. He might want to return to English football and see in a club that could potentially go to the Premier League. It'd be great for him, but I don't think we'd have the money to attract somebody like that. I think personally, I think it's going to be <clears throat> we're all going to go who the hell's that and have to Google it when it's announced because it's going to be there's quite there's loads of foreign managers with good point records, but in leagues that we don't really watch, you know. Yeah. So it's difficult to say who, what I want and is probably every manager I could tell you I want is not going to be realistic for the club we are at the moment. Yeah, good shows, comrade. Uh, just saying, I just quickly had a look at Beale's stats: forty-one percent win. QPR, 72% win at Rangers. Um, but it's because he lost the big games yeah. and and sort of finished so far behind Celtic that it was. I didn't realise he'd actually been there a full season. I thought he had like was there a short stint of time and then just sat because of how bad he was doing. But um yeah, so I just thought I'd share that. <laughs> Right. I'm not being funny. If you if you if you manage Rangers or Celtic and you're not getting seventy percent winning that league, you've yeah, got issues. <laughs> yeah, well, they play each other. Was it four times a season? So yeah. he still lost four of the games. They're getting battered by Celtic four times. So yeah. he's got yeah, a shit no, record in derby. So we signed him after the Mags game. Afterwards, I yeah. Um, yeah. David Miller says the Mags will be trapping themselves now. Change of manager just before we play them. Um, Keno says, I expect maybe one of these unknown foreign coaches that they will have been looking to bring in as soon as they had a chance. Sirius is French, experienced and good. Is this if decided that Zidane is coming to Wearside? <laughs> Steven Gerrard? No, not for me. Like. No, not for me. No. Yeah. Dan Bronkhorst has a worse win percentage than Beale, someone's just put there. Uh, was he there longer, though? Well, he was okay. there longer at range. So I don't know if that makes a difference. So it's still a win percentage, I suppose. Is that the one you were talking about, Tom Wallace? He is sitting in France with Nice. Is that the was that the English one who's over there now? No, that's Will Still. Oh, I think he's called now. <laughs> yeah, let me have a look. I'm sure it was just Football Manager was how he came up, and then there's all those videos doing the rounds of him speak French, and then almost immediately back into his like English accent. Uh, let's have a look here. Who was that's that? the fast, that's, that was the fast show, wasn't it? Julio Giorgio. Yeah. Julio Giorgio, right? He's a, is it, uh, Remis, is it how you say it? R E I M S, uh, 46% win ratio. Um, this is the one where I think the, they have to keep paying something like 25 grand every game week to the French, uh, like uh, FA or whatever it is, because he's not actually qualified to be a manager, but he's won them like 21 games. Yeah. Mm. Tony Pulis, there you Tony go. Pulis, yeah. <laughs> you well, I'm part. going to have to love you and leave you. No, I've got to go and get me Maggie days. But before I go, nice. if you're liking this, like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss this breaking news. Hey. Well said. <laughs> Catch us later. Yeah. In a bit. Uh, um, I, I, I too nice. Like you see, it's... Uh, it's Strange one, it's, very strange. it's interesting. It's interesting to see just in our comments alone, not, not, 
nevertheless you go on Twitter or something, is the mixed reviews. It is very down the middle, great decision, terrible decision. That's you the know. wrong thing I'm trying to do. Sorry, lads. <laughs> <laughs> we you know. know. <laughs> you know. Mad Macken, who's been a member for 27 months on there, says all change, no change. The, the boss needs freedom to pick. You know, is, is that the case? Is it the case where... That's the one. Took me half an hour, got there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half who's hour that? behind everything else. Who's that there? Belgium. Is he still in charge of Belgium? I can't Martinez. Why Martinez? Is, is, where's he now? Hopefully not coming to Sunderland. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, he, he ended up he ended up failing at Wigan. Let's not forget that he did win an FA Cup, but they were also relegated. Yeah, he ended up man. failing at Everton, which was probably the best Everton side they actually had in the league at that time, with the players that they had. Uh, and he went to Belgium and had the golden generation of Belgian talent, yeah, and no, didn't nothing. get any further than third in a World Cup, yeah. in which they played England twice. I've just seen something in the chat there. Lewis Young says Graham Potter or Johnny Smith says Graham Potter is favourite for the job. Let's have a look and see if there's any early betting on yet. I, I looked team. for odds about five minutes ago and I couldn't see anything on there yet. It was still saying Tony Mowbray tipped to be number one. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> just start adding comments on like Johnny Smith's there. Yeah, Graham Potter is for the job. Um, Michael Beale. Yeah. Matt, someone's put Martinez, but I'll just there you go. See, I'm not lying. It's yeah, an interesting Perf picture you've got there, mate. Perfume Snob said the under 21 manager was on the bench on Saturday. Really? Who's the under 21's manager? That would be even Mur cheaper off them. It's uh, it's Murty, isn't it? Graham Murty, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is exactly what I said. <laughs> oh, where's that going? It just went off way for it. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone didn't fit the model, it's Neil yeah. Warren. I know. Enjoy it, lads, but enjoy it by being fucking disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the reaction fans have give to what Mowbray has done and not done, mm. it's got to be an attacking, focused manager. It's It's got to be somebody who can, you know, improve that side of the game. I mean, yeah, think, Potter, yeah. I mean, Potter did wonders of Brighton. You know, he was... He, can't not his record of Brighton. I mean, he went to Chelsea and field, but hasn't he just has he just took the job on it somewhere else, or was he slid over a job? I'm sure he's took it no, a foreign job somewhere. I don't think he has. But the the one about Chris Wilder, he's meant to be rejoining Sheffield United now that Heckenbottom's gone as well. I think he's yeah, still unemployed. Yeah. Well, oh, here you go. This is the shout. Are you ready? Yay! <laughs> Jesus, no. What's this one? It was bad enough the first time. <laughs> there would be an unknown from Turkish or French second division who was actually tactically adept. Sat the same Mowbray would go, but took us as probably that might not be a bad show. You know, he might have took us as far as he. he, he oh, I don't. I, people, don't, I, don't, I don't disagree with the fact that Mowbray was. He was never going to win his the league. Do you know what I mean? And never going to do that. But he was. We were knocking on the door of the playoffs every time. And I think I said last week when we were talking that we're actually better off than we were this time last season. We're like six, seven points ahead, five five or six bases higher. And it was in the second half of the season that we actually took off and sort of got ourselves in there. And if we, I didn't think we were catching the top two, but I still thought we'd easily make the playoffs again. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. You got, that, that's a shout for me, Tom Wallace. Tom Where Wallace. Where is he? That's a... Where's that one? Who do you want <laughs> Yeah, current current manager of South Shields. But could you imagine if he got Nicholas Mendina as his uh, assistant? <laughs> <laughs> I can know how to attack. That's, this is the real one. This one here. What is it? We need a manager who can continue the awesome offensive football, but needs to spend considerable time on defence. We've been awful at the back for a very long time. He's not wrong, really. It's, it's since the Luton away game um, yeah, look at this last one. season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's not, is he? Please, God. Six I feet. Really oh, my God. 12 to Damn 1. Oh, Pray yeah. for the other five. Pray That's for the other five. Yeah. Yeah. Another one's always linked with us. Yeah. I'm trying to think just... 
who's recently out of a job who's like on pundit work who who then actually does a lot of managing I'm, just I'm, surprised, I'm surprised Martin O'Neill's not been mentioned as another one yeah is there anyone out of jobs recently I'm trying to even think of like international managers that have sort of just gone out of it but this there's not really Julio Arca's football is good at South Shields to be fair his football was good when he played yeah <laughs> Yeah, we, we, Steve, we, we, I, we, I agree with this one though. Hang on, where is it? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flag. I, yeah flag. I, 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 I give in. That, right, lads, you've taken the piss enough. I'm, I'm off. Is, is that when we break apart and have FC United yeah. Sunderland? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Terry is a manager. <laughs> hey, Christ. Yeah, Ar- Ar- Arca would be in our budget, just saying. Well, fan favourite in budget, attractive football. <laughs> what about that? No, Phil. no, no. <laughs> uh-uh. oh. Oh, That's brother. a Lampard esque one. That <laughs> Trevor Madison, right? Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, dear me. Yeah, should we wrap it up there. We've t- we've told everyone he's sacked. It took me half an hour to figure out how to put it on the bottom, but I've still put it there. Um, my breaking news: so Tony Mowbray has gone. Who's going to be next? Put your put your thoughts and your comments in the comments when it go, when it gets up to YouTube and uh, let us know what you think. Slavin Bullet has another one being mentioned. Who knows? Who knows what's happening anyway? That's enough from us. We've, uh, we've taken far too much of your time. But Conrad, do you want to see uh, your goodbyes? Am I going to have to do the Jacob uh, outro yes. where he's like, as always, uh, keep the faith, you know, sudden until we die and all that. But cheers for watching, everyone. And yeah, let's not all wet the bed yet. Let's see what happens. I, I suppose we've just got to trust the board and trust them, however, whatever our opinions are. But we'll wait and see. Hopefully, it doesn't drag on and. We've got somebody lined up and identified before the mags game, which I hope, which we surely will have to. But Mike, want to see your farewells? Yeah, watch this space. We will uh, as soon as we hear things, you'll hear things. Keep an eye on the YouTube videos and the shorts. Yes, we'll update you as uh, as we hear anything. But as always, thanks for two hundred and twenty-five of you uh, jumped on. So at this time of the night, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Please like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind, and it'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, we'll see you Thursday. Uh-huh. So yeah.